So today there was a new map release on Farming Simulator 22, it's called the Chainsaw Valley, so we really want to check this one out. As the name suggests, I guess it will be about uh, using the chainsaw, and as you will see the map here, uh, that seems to be true, because it's mostly woods on this map. There are some stores around, as you can see, sawmill, we had a store, we have a vehicle shop, animal dealer and a farmer's market um, and that's pretty much it there's some farms of uh, fields around there's 23 fields for farming you can uh, just plant some stuff there if you like but mostly this map is just meant to be cut down and um, grown back again so for the guys of you who love to play with the chainsaw this is the map to be and there's a huge river and as you look here, you can see these logs floating on the river, and I think that's pretty funny detail. I just like it when the river is not just as it always is, just water, but there's actually some life, something going on. Like these logs floating around. So, can we open this shed? I think we should, but this door, for some odd reason, won't open for me. Let's try this one. And there it goes. I'm pretty sure they all will, the, all of the three will open, but for now, it just doesn't like me. <laughs> but there's two, two, bleh, two John Deere tractors inside and a harvester. And we have a harvester heather. This is a field we own. And here, it looks like it's already been done something to, to but I don't really know. So, uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, there's another shed. I think that's ours too. There's a tipping trailer and a tractor. Cute little one. And we have our truck, of course. So let's check out our other field because... Oh, I'm sorry. I should have checked first. Uh, there's a water tank right there. I don't think you'll need it because you have rivers on this map. Though I don't know if they're really accessible for water tanks, so... If you, if they are not available, you can use those uh, placeable water tanks. So our second field is just around the corner here. So we're just gonna see what that one looks like. And this is the one. It's just a very nice little cute forest field. Like the ones you would see in real life when you're in the woods. So let's get up into our bird view and see what it looks like from above. As you can see, lots and lots of trees. I have to say, um, this map is actually pretty. I really like it. So let's go check out the Johnson's Farmer's Market, see what it looks like over there. And there's more trees. <laughs> there's some fields available right here on the right of the Farmer's Market, there's a field. As you can see, all the fields are actually nested near the river and that has to do with the fact that the map is filled with steep hills so um, having a field on top of the hill is not really gonna be uh, such a great thing but this field is pretty big actually it's not too bad at all so there's some some fields available as I said but there's mostly woods as you can see so here's the sawmill it's pretty big very decent you got lots of storage space around here and um, more trees <laughs> for a change which is what you wouldn't expect for a chainsaw valley right what's in the name well I think the name is being pretty good because you really get what you expect and that is lots of woods to cut down and grow back again otherwise you'll be will you will be done playing soon enough so let's see uh, what the values of these fields are and they're not too bad they're from super cheap to super expensive different sizes different uh forms they actually have they oh and that's the river you can also maybe buy the river i don't know why you would want to do that but it's okay so one more view bird's view from the vehicle shop and again you will see the river and the forests around um so let's just have get into our little pickup truck and drive up onto the hill see what we can see from the top if we can see anything at all because you know trees <laughs> but with our very fancy bird view 
mud, we should be able to get on top of those trees and look right over them. So first it's the biggest challenge to reach the top, or sort of top, without hitting any trees, and that went just right. I nearly hit it. Okay, so this is almost the top, it's not all the way, but that's good enough for now. As you can see, I get out of my truck. I was still in bird's view, and I was just gonna get up a little more. I really, 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 really love this map. It's really awesome. I love it how they actually built this very natural environment. Hills around and a river in the valleys, and that's just perfect. That's how it should be. It's a very rural map. Yeah. For guys of you who love to fool around with lumber and chainsaws and all that kind of stuff, forestry stuff, this is the map to go. This is really gonna be an addition, a welcome addition to the other maps of Farming Simulator 22. So I hope you'll enjoy this map, at least I will, and see you in the next one. Bye bye!